And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Apprehend. We're going to be trying this new card from uh, Call of the Mountain, Apprehend. It's two mana, slow speed, stun an enemy, and then if you have a Darius, rally. So we're going to try this out. So we're going to be playing Yasuo with Darius. Um, so hopefully we can get some extra rallies with our Yasuo with this Apprehend. Uh, so that's that's kind of like what we're doing here. So we're just calling this a meme tier deck. We're going to just try this in normal. Yasuo hasn't necessarily been the most successful, but we're gonna we're gonna try uh, this version out. And if it's doing if it's doing well, we're gonna take it over to ranked. Um, the something that I'm gonna do with this deck is I'm gonna try it with Fey Guide. This is this is uh, you know try to think of like how can we make a Yasuo deck good? Like what how can we finish games? And I feel like maybe maybe Fey Guide could be the answer of being able to grant allies elusive. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have the Fey Guide be able to combo with Fey Blade Twirler, right? Because, like, you'll play these decks, and a lot of times you'll have, like, a 7, 9, 11 power Fey Blade Twirler, but it doesn't really get through. So maybe combining that Fey Blade Twirler with Fey Guide could do some work. Also, combining that with Legion General. This is a card that I haven't usually played in Yasuo decks, because, you know, sure, it gets plus 1, plus 1, and sure, it's like an 8-8 eight, eight or a 10-10, but, you know, they just kind of block it, and, and usually the curves kind of hide. I just haven't really found that I wanted to play this. But maybe, maybe this is what we could focus on. Maybe if we focus on this instead of, like, Yone and Minotaur Reckoner, get large G Legion General, but then, again, of course, Fey Guide. Grant the Legion General elusive. Now you have a, a really large, fearsome elusive. Now we're talking. So that's kind of what, what we're going with. And so because we're, we're playing both of those, we're going to want to do a whole lot of stunning. So we're going, going with the full three copies of Intimidating Roar, which of course is a great combo with Yasuo, but then could also just be a great combo with Growing um, Legion General and uh, Fey Blade Twirler. So that's kind of my, my plan here with this version. And so we're going to be aggressive. And of course, if we have large elusives, it's good to have multiple attacks with them because you know maybe they have like one blocker and then, uh, you know, we get to apprehend and, and get multiple attacks with them. Or maybe, you know, we, we stun their one elusive blocker and rally. So that's kind of my plan here. Um, and then, you know, maybe we have our big elusive strike them, puts them down to less than 10, and then have Darius after them and have Darius finish the game. Um, all right, so so that's that's the, the plan. Let's go ahead and give this a try. We're going to play Yasuo Apprehend. We'll play our five games over in normal, but like I said, if, if it actually looks like it's going to be working, then we'll take it over to Master's Rank. But just labeling it as meme tier. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, we are playing an Apprehend deck. Alright, Garen and Tarek. So we're going to have some support. Ooh. I kind of want to keep all of these, actually. I know I'm not doing anything for a while, but... We get to play Yasuo, and then with Yasuo in play, we can have these Concussive Palms. Um, especially if they're, like, you know, if they're going Taric and they're just trying to bulk up some really big attackers. That's what it feels like. Then uh, the Concussive Palms can do well. Keeping the two Yasuos, because just in case one dies to like single combat, and plus Yasuo has a good champion spell anyway, even if it doesn't die to single combat. Yeah, so Tarek is, uh, what does Tarek do? A 2-4 champion that has support. You give it and the other thing tough. And then also copy spells. So you want to like play like a, a big pump spell on Tarek. Because then, then you attack and support and you get to copy that pump spell over. Now when I did draw the, the four cards, I was kind of expecting us to... I was kind of expecting some different draws. A little bit. I bring clarity. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Look sharp, hardly fair. Never submit. I know that puts Yasuo down to two health, but we have the other Yasuo. So I, you know, could play the Steel Tempest. But just gonna wait. And just think if they kill this Yasuo, I'll have backup Yasuo. Things never dull. 
What's that? Okay. Hmm. I don't like how they still have single combat available. Hopefully no single combat. Cool. Alright, well, Ionia can be a good one. We got two stuns for our Yasuo. My heart and sword for Demacia. I have never forgotten. Which one do we want to uh, stun? Garen or Tarek? I don't think the Tarek. With the support and the tough and that kind of stuff. I don't have to block Garen. Because, like, Garen can strike me once, and then I can bounce Garen, put back in, in their hand. Ooh. Okay, okay. Let's start by, by bouncing Garen. If the journey doesn't get you the road, mate. Yeah, Lulu. Lulu is um, also to uh, going to be time. another support card. All will kneel before Noxus. Noxus always wants something from Ionians. Yeah, those Noxus always wanting something from Ionians. Now we got an 8 8 fearsome. Or if their plan is just to play Garen again, they're going to have to block with either Tarek or Garen or just take 8, I suppose. My heart and sword for Demacia. I have never forgotten. They maybe should have just cast Gem first on the Tiari. Maybe, and then they could have blocked with Tiari. <laughs> Yasuo deck making me update this game. Yasuo is sweet. Vulnerable is like where you can challenge... If something is vulnerable, anything can challenge it. Right, so like... Uh, so it's pretty nice. Like if... You know, if their Garen is vulnerable, then I could challenge Garen with any of these things. Yeah, Yasuo, Hecarim are your favorite cards. Yeah, we just just played a Hecarim deck. Now we're playing Yasuo deck. Yeah, <laughs> we're... Yeah, it's just just for you, Jelly Tug. All right, so yeah, there's the blessing of Targon. Gives the plus three, plus three. And then it goes over there at the plus three, plus three. Preserve beauty and protect all light. And protect all light and stuff like that. Okay, we're gonna just uh, stop both of those. I've survived far worse. Hope you brought friends. Or other way around. So you do that one first. And then that does two damage, but the Garen will just regenerate. Now this one will do five damage. But of course it's tough. No, please. So we'll probably play Darius before attacking. Stay resolute. Yeah, I think we'll play Darius before attacking. Noxus. This 
And then, of course, that's uh, going to be a decimate. Now, that could be really important. So I should pro like if I'm gonna play decimate, I should probably play decimate now. Cause I can't really wait till after combat because all they have to do is you know like they're gonna have to block Darius with one of these two things anyway, so they'll just kill Darius. But then that gives them another blocker. Let's see if I attack like this. Eight eight blocks Darius, so they take two damage. This blocks here, and then they yeah I guess so they're just taking lethal. Some things never die. Yeah, so I guess I guess this is just lethal, unless they have some kind of spell. No further. Shield up. These should be blocking the other way, by the way. I love that. I I want them to block like this, but they should be blocking the other way. Oh no. For the oh no. Well, I guess that's my bad. Huh. Think it fast? Cute. I was like confident and then <laughs> Garen's judgment. Oh no. You, you're Tarek, the protector. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. Hopefully they play another thing. Good. So I can still stay alive. I dare you. Which means, you know, because I can block these two now. So that means that, like, I still have an out here of Fey Guide. Want to see these moves up close? Oh, they're gonna round start rally, aren't they? So maybe I don't have an. I forgot they're gonna have rally on my turn, so maybe I don't have a, an out of Fey Guide. All right, so my out is a stun card, stun or recall, stun or recall. Oh. If only they didn't get the attack token right here. Maybe they don't attack. Darn. Everyone okay? Step away, coward. Leave us alone. All right, I got judgmented again. Ooh, playing against some burn. So this is a matchup where we really want Intimidating Roar. Because this is a deck that's going to be going wide on our opponent's side. I'm going to keep the one and two mana cards because it is a deck that is aggressive and goes wide. But we really want to see Intimidating Roar. Of course, especially with Yasuo, right? We want Yasuo plus Intimidating Roar. Ooh, Blade Twirler and Intimidating Roar could be really good. Uh, especially with Fey Guide. We look like we're a spider deck. And they're like, what? Yasuo, da Darius, spiders? It's like, yeah, we a spider deck. Interesting. Nothing on one or two? I got a slow hand. I have a very fast hand. Wow, there's the Intimidating Roar. This could be real nice. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Mm. I was really hoping they'd be too scared to attack. I was really hoping I would scare him off from attacking. Oh. 
So I didn't. Um, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't trade with those right there. See, you know, my plan is to go intimidating roaring, like stun all these and grow this, grow my Fey Blade Twirler a ton. That's the plan. They are a burn deck, so I do need to be worried about my life total. Alright, so will we have time? Yeah. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? I must get out of here. Over here. No more running. All right, I'm just saving my life total. The Blade Twirler is my most important card, which is kind of weird with the Yasuo deck. Oh, man, a Darius? That's going to be a 10 6? I kind of just play Darius, right? Mine is the hand of I don't even get to do the stuff that I want to do. <laughs> but, you know, they're, like, they're at 11. I have one elusive. Yeah, their hand was really weird. It's really weird. Spark knows the way. I'll face my fate. Your turn. Should just be lethal. I don't, I don't think they can stay alive. We didn't get to do any cool combo of really show off like huge elusive blade twirler, but you know we'll just take the win. Sometimes Darius just smashes. Don't have, don't have time to do your cool thing. GG. We have done well. Noxus is proud. All right. Let's see. Garen Fiora. We're keeping Precious Pet and Fey Blade Twirler. Probably Intimidating Roar also. Maybe Legion. Maybe just keep all of these. Ooh, that could be good. So turn four. I could have Intimidating Roar plus Block. I'm worried about Fiora killing my Blade Twirlers right away. Yeah, I'm worried about that. If I play this other Blade Twirler... You cannot sway me. If I play it, then I won't be able to have Ravenous Flock to go along with Intimidating Roar. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Just have to use my mana. If they have single combats to kill my my blade twirlers, then they have single combats to kill them. You know, it's just the way it goes. Think you're fast? Cute. This didn't work out too well for me though. You know, we want to be stunning and recalling stuff before this Legion General. Didn't work out the best for me. We'll make my blade twirlers into five threes. They gotta be just sitting on single combats. Which is unfortunate. For how they're sitting here waiting. I hope they just let this happen. Keep up. All 
Alright, we're just gonna kill the... Kill that thing. Alright, so these Legion Generals are now gonna be 6-6. Six, six. Which, you know, nothing wrong with a 6-6 six, six fearsome. We have gotten two single combats out of their hand, so not likely that they'll have another one at least. On some other card that stuns or recalls. Get rid of this dragon. Darius. One blade, one purpose. Just don't like that you know their six twos get to block my six six and just have a, an easy trade there. I don't like that. But oh well. I mean, I guess we just play Legion General. I'm glad they're going down to under 10. I like that. Big time ouch. All will kneel before Noxus. Noxus always wants something from Ionians. Come on, draw a spell, please. But not I guess Ravenous Flock wouldn't be bad either. So yeah, just draw a spell, not deny. No, nope, not a spell. See if how Darius can do. Hasn't been a very good game for us. The combination of Screeching Dragon and a single combat has been devastating. Follow my lead. So let's see, I can play I can play that and still play you know two of these. My shield is yours. All will kneel before Noxus. If any man's earned their rank, you have. So as long as that's not like concerted strike or single combat, we could kill them here, potentially. Direct assault! Right, right now they don't have enough to stop Darius. None shall oppose me. Okay, so all, all they need is a pump spell though. All they need is like a pill cascade. On Genevieve Elmhart to stay alive. I can't attack first then decimate because the decimate is the Darius champion spell. So if I attack first, then they block with Screeching Dragon and kill my Darius. And then my decimate turns back into a Darius. So then it's not a decimate anymore. So I have to cast the Decimate first, so it does give them that information of what they have to do. If it was just a regular Decimate, yeah, we would have probably won here, because they probably would have, you know, they would have blocked with the Screeching Dragon, and then, and gone down to four, and I could have Decimated them. Alright, so we got Bastion out of their hand, so they did have a spell to stay alive. No, gosh. Genevieve turns that into five health again. And this game really didn't work out for us. They always just kept having the card they needed. Let's see. The world waits, begging for okay, so just play this. Just need to do one damage. You call this a fight? Their pride will cost them. So we're taking eight with these attacks. If they use the scout first, then we'll ravenous flock and be able to kill the Genevieve afterwards, so it won't be any different. If they like scout first with one of these spiders.
Okay, we just gotta do one damage. Let's draw a fake eyed. Another house spider. It's not another fake eyed. Oh yeah, you draw a champion. That's that's cool. That's cool. Good deny draw. GG's. Screeching Dragon just dominated that and single combat, of course. Maybe we need more stun spells. Okay, we got some stun spells. Maybe I just, you know, I just need to not keep Legion General. Like, that, that was a bad keep of that card, especially then we just got really punished for it with just drawing Legion General, Legion General right away. So, mulligan that, look for spells, look for Yasuo, that kind of stuff. That's where I messed that game up. Opponent. Okay, looks like the game has started. A real battle. Okay, they play twirler. And then wait till their timer goes down and then cast something. Got your back. All right, pass turn. Okay, we got Darius plus Apprehend. All right, and they're playing stuff now. Okay, we're doing it. Let's just cast Sentry. So it would be ideal to wait till after Yasuo, you know, because then we'd be doing two damage to everything. But I also need to kind of keep my life total um, a little bit high. And I don't want to just take. I don't want to take too much damage. So by doing that, we just saved six damage than what we would have taken if I would have just completely waited till after Yasuo. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Probably should have blocked, or sorry, sorry. Probably should have attacked with Blade Twirler first. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're angry. Love it. No prey, no pay. Love it. What a draw. Here's our chance. So I'll keep him alive. Here's our chance. <laughs> At least we don't have to worry about them attacking this turn. Awesome. <laughs> See, 11-3 Blade Twirler. This is what we're talking about with Fey Guide. Try to keep up. I'm I'm ready. Not so fast. Alright, gonna stun and kill the Lucian. There we go. Because we kill that, and then, sure, the Senna turns into, you know, the 5-2, but then the Senna dies with the block, and they're they're just left with nothing. All right, now, now we're playing against Control. So that worked out perfectly. That was exactly what our deck is trying to do, what we want to do. That one worked out perfectly. Now, how are we going to be against Control? Let's mulligan Darius. This is... A little awkward. You know, like, I don't know exactly when we're going to be playing this Arachnoid Sentry and Concussive Palm. It's not necessarily that you just, like, play this on turn three, play that on turn four. Not necessarily playing those right away. Especially against a ramp deck. 
but we're probably going to need a, a lot of these to slow down Trundle and Aurelian Soul and the like. Yeah, I think so, Cabo. I think you can be in Diamond to get paired against people in Masters. Yes, the season will reset 14th of October, yes. Alright, so now we have Ravenous Flock. I like that against the O4. If they have Weirding Stones, I like having Ravenous Flock. Um, unfortunately, to kill that this turn, I don't get to Sentry, so I have to use Apprehend. Uh, still gonna do that, so you know, keep them from casting Trundle the next turn. So we're gonna go Apprehend plus Flock. Hmm. Wasn't really expecting that, but I guess that's a thing. Oh, it's on. That was a really bad attack. Obviously, the reason why I was doing that was Ravenous Walk. That was a horrible attack. So you have to think, why did they make that attack? So I think the reason why is like Avalanche, right? It's like they they probably have Avalanche here. They can kill these two. They definitely have to be worried about that as far as getting more things in play. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Yes. Yes, whoa. Devotion through battle. Is a leap's only purpose to fall. So we're going to do this just to get real aggressive. So that takes away their blocker. We get an extra 3-2. It turns the Blade Twirler into being a 3-2. This gets 12 damage across right now. Try to keep up. I love it. Doesn't mean we're going to win, but I like, you know, like that's a good turn. Now they got a lot of catching up to do. That's That's a great start for them. Play this as a 5-5. Five five. We still have like three mana that maybe they were gonna play like another Weirding Stones afterwards that I'd want to like sentry flock. Snow Sunder smash all the things! The world waits, begging for dominion. Little's cross easy! You cannot win. Definite avalanche with making that attack into my 5 5. Maybe not. It was like troll chant and stuff. Yeah. All right, GGS. Didn't have a blocker. Didn't have any burst speed life healing, or at least you know nexus healing, or at least not enough. All right, so we we're respectable. We we're definitely a respectable Yasuo deck here. Um, you know, with our apprehend. Wish we had some more card advantage and everything like that, but that's just not how it always goes. Uh, didn't get to do too much cool stuff with Fae Guide. Um, almost got a win with the Fae Guide against the Garen deck, but the you know the leveled up Garen let them attack before I would have attacked for Lethal, so we you know, were just a little short there. But I liked what we had going on here for the most part. You know, like I think Intimidating Roar is probably in a pretty good spot these days in the metagame. And uh, and I just love. I think I, I think Bay Guide's awesome.
with these kind of threats with your blade twirler your legion general your darius uh, i think that could be really cool giving them elusive um so yeah i was happy with this list i was happy with precious pet and house spider they kind of did their thing they were just fine uh yeah they yeah they should not have made those attacks that they made especially that first one with that weirding stones yeah they should really should not have made that attack at all but we'll take it all right that's yasso apprehend those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well i'd appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video